iron deficiency and low blood anemia. Introduction Welcome to the Silva Anemia Master Course, where you will discover how you can take charge of your anemia condition. If you are working with a doctor, all the better, since you will recover quicker from your anemia. The information in this course will help you understand better how you can help yourself and improve your condition. You will receive a lot of information on iron deficiency. You will not need it all to help yourself, but you will be more informed about anemia and you will make better choices on what direction you need to go to eliminate your low iron blood condition. This course will help you assess your condition, whether or not you have anemia. In most cases, you need to know your situation to address your predicament or see a doctor if the need arises. Also, be aware that the intake of iron supplements should be under a physician's direction. Taking iron supplements excessively and without regard may lead to high iron toxicity levels, resulting in adverse health effects or worse, death. While iron supplements may result in toxicity, natural food sources generally have no side effects since the iron derived from them is used and absorbed by the body quickly and efficiently. However, there are cases where people have too much iron or iron overload. For those who absorb and accumulate iron in your body, hemochromatosis, you will have the toxic effects of iron. You will be more susceptible to diabetes, regular headaches, arthritis, extreme tiredness, stomach aches, diarrhea, foggy thinking, and many other symptoms. In the following videos, you will learn more about the toxic effects of iron. Though your body uses various ways to absorb and distribute iron, many people are still deficient in iron, simply because they do not eat iron-rich food. Most people eat processed or junk foods that are low in iron. Besides, they probably don't eat the minerals necessary to help absorb iron. These people fail to eat foods that help circulate blood flow and oxygen throughout their bodies. The best way to cure anemia is to use natural iron found in food and natural supplements and not chemical substances in pill form, which are imbalanced and result in digestive problems and other unseen side effects. In this iron deficiency master course, I will provide you with information to understand and eliminate anemia using natural food and nutrition. So let's get going. Iron deficiency anemia the most common type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, or simply iron deficiency. This disorder affects over 2.15 billion people worldwide. In the US, it is estimated that 30% of the adult population suffers from iron deficiency, 66%, of which are women of childbearing age and children. On the other hand, only 2% of male adults are diagnosed as having anemia. Generally, Anemia occurs more frequently in young individuals than in older folks. Nevertheless, people in their 70s and 80s are also likely to suffer from anemia due to their diminished ability to digest and absorb food. Women. Anemia usually occurs in infants, young children, and women. Teenage girls and pregnant women, in particular, are more prone to anemia. This condition is due to their diet, which may be short in iron and other nutrients that play a role in iron absorption. Women who go through heavy menstrual periods are also apt to develop anemia. As women move past their menopausal stage, they seldom become anemic. However, if they do, their anemia may be a telltale sign of a more serious illness. For instance, these women may be suffering from a bleeding disease, which may appear as anemia. Pregnant women. Pregnant and nursing women are also prone to anemia, since their infants require large iron quantities for their growth and development. Thus, babies who are nursed by iron deficient mothers are also likely to be anemic. Iron deficiency is a condition that goes almost unnoticed and undetected, so that many anemic individuals are not even aware of their circumstances. They will often attribute anemia symptoms to their stressful lives, not knowing that their feeling tired is actually due to iron deficiency. Children Children in third world countries are quite susceptible to anemia. They are typical undernourished and lack the proper nutrients that supply the iron and vitamins necessary for iron absorption. When children are anemic, they are prone to disease, have reduced mental abilities, and are less productive later in life. 
it is estimated that iron anemia deficiency prevents up to 60% of the population, in developing countries, from reaching their maximum mental abilities. Athletes, especially distance and marathon runners, are also found to be susceptible to anemia. Here, iron is depleted and lost mainly through the amount of sweat they produce, the red blood cells that break down, and bleeding in the gut. Female athletes are more likely to be afflicted with this condition as compared to males. Anemia in the Elderly In their book High Speed Healing, by the Editors of Prevention, 1991, they talk about anemia in the elderly. As people age, anemia is more common. Hemoglobin levels often drop in older persons, and they may have problems absorbing iron because they often have less stomach acid, says Paul Stander, MD. Iron deficiency anemia is not different in older persons, except that elderly people don't tolerate anemia as well, says Dr. Stander. The elderly can suffer more severe symptoms than younger people for the same amount of anemia. Anemia symptoms. Symptoms of iron deficiency include more than just the feeling of being tired and run down. In this course, I will discuss more signs and indications of anemia. And, I will tell you why irritability and mood swings could be a telltale sign of anemia. Nutritional anemia studies. Studies show that it is not only the amount of iron that one eats or absorbs that becomes the determining factor in developing anemia. Instead, it is a matter of the many nutrients that influence the absorption of iron. Hence, shortages of these nutrients will likely result in iron depletion and deficiency. Add to this, only around 10% of the iron in a good diet is bioavailable. Health conditions Iron plays a vital role in preventing or treating these medical conditions. Alcoholism, attention deficit disorder, ADD, colitis, diabetes, excessive menstrual blood loss, iron deficiency anemia, leukemia, parasitic infections, restless leg syndrome, stomach ulcers, tuberculosis. Low blood levels point the way to anemia and some of the diseases and conditions mentioned above. Summary. We discussed who is most susceptible to iron blood deficiency. Women are more likely to have anemia than men. But the elderly are also at a high risk of having anemia. This elderly condition can be overcome by understanding what causes low blood iron. A lack of iron also has a place in forming other diseases, 